So hi everyone, it's Vic here and I'm sharing with you today a process video for the Go Go Getaway March Cyber Crop. And my layout is based on a mood board that I set for the Cyber Crop Challenge. I'll pop a picture of it at the end of this video, but it's basically filled with lots of purples and blues and pinks um, in terms of colour and um, Easter egg shapes, nest, and just a little bit spring-like. Um, and there's also quite a few butterflies that feature in the mood board as well. So I've taken um, a circular element from the mood board because there was like um, a circular frame in it. And I've cut my photograph into a circle. And I'm gonna use that as my central focal point for my layout. And I was having a flick through all of my um, collections that I've got in, in, my, in my stash. And although I had a few purpley tones, I didn't have a lot of them. So I decided that I would try and make some of my own embellishments for this layout. And I recently purchased um, this die from Sizzix. It's a thinlet and you get um, this big flower in the kit and you also get loads of leaves and I just absolutely super love it it's um like I said it's from Sizzix it's a thinlet and it's called peony pop-up and the way that the die cuts the cardstock it actually means that you can um make your flower more um dimensional so it helps to add um texture and depth to your layouts and I absolutely love it so I've just cut it from some plain white cardstock and I've then coloured them in. I've cut them out three times and I've coloured them in with some of the shimmers paints and inklings. Absolutely love them. They're so beautiful and the sparkle, you can't really see it very well on the video here, um, but the sparkle when they catch the light is, oh, it's just so beautiful. Now the reason that I use these to colour my flowers in is because one of the photographs on my mood board um, had like a bit of a dark blue woodland scene with um, lighter turquoise coloured butterflies fluttering around and it looked like little bits of fairy dust in the background so it was quite magical so that's why I wanted to add that little bit of sparkle onto my layout there. So I'm just building up my page now and because I'm focusing on the, the circular frame from the mood board that I saw and I've got that big circular main photo, I want to draw your eye into that picture there. And one of the other challenges that we had for our cyber crop this month was to use some of the beautiful Bramble Fox perspectives on our page. Now, I don't know about you, but I've got loads in my stash and I tend to just sort of put one or two on a page here or there. They're great for titles and those extra little um, accents and details on your page. So I've really, really rummaged through what I've got and I've used quite a lot on this layout actually. So I'm really pleased. And the globes on them were perfect because again it continued that circular theme across my layout. Now on the theme of making your own embellishments I wanted to make some butterflies and I've used some of um, the Paige Evans collection. I think this one's from Bloom Street because the colours linked in again with the mood board. I was trying to keep everything sort of purpley blue and I love paper folding and doing origami and I've made butterflies before in the past, but they were a bit more fiddly. Now, this isn't classified as origami, what I'm doing here, because I've cut the piece of paper with um, scissors in half. But you need to start with a square piece of paper. And I've slowed it down for you so you can see the process here. But it's literally just a case of concertinaing your paper and then folding them in half and put them, putting them together. So the first rectangular piece that I did, I did actually fold that rectangle in half lengthways and then just tuck the corners over to make like a pointy arrow shape at each end. And then that helps give you that pretty little effect at the top. And you can stick those two pieces together or you can, like I have here, 
just used some embroidery thread and I've twisted that around and knotted it and then the leftover ends of the threads I'm going to make into the antennae of my butterflies a bit later on. So as you can see the layout's coming together quite nicely now I'm really enjoying it it's um, something a little bit different for me I don't tend to do this too much um, but I must admit I really enjoyed the process of um, it so I'm adding some of those bramble flocks flowers now how super cute are they they're just oh when these came out last year they were one of my favorites um, releases from bramble fox and i bought quite a few packets of them so i have used a lot already but um they were perfect just to tuck in with my big floral embellishments that i'd made and i'm now adding some leaves in from a kaiser craft collection because i love the purples on those and again some die cut leaves that came with those flowers from the sizzix that I'm just tucking in now. And I wasn't sure whether to leave them um, white or not, but I wanted to bring in some of the element of spring. So I have colored them in again with paints, but you'll see later on, I do actually add um, some, I think it's called bundle sage um, distress oxide inks on top of them in areas just to um, dull that brightness of um, those lime green leaves I thought they were a little bit too in your face and I and I didn't didn't like the effect so I just wanted to darken it a little bit now the photograph is actually of um, my daughter Isabella now I don't think it was from last year I think it was from the year before I can't quite remember off the top of my head now looking back at the video um, every day seems to sort of merge into one at the moment with lockdown um but yeah i think it was a couple of years ago and we'd taken a trip down to our local park down by the thames so it's really lovely walks by the river but they always have lovely spring flowers there that have come up into um bloom and purple crocuses so the photo for me although you can't see the flowers that's that's what it was all about the sun was shining it was a lovely day and we really enjoyed it and to me that linked into my mood board as well being outside and um, the flowers that we'd seen so I've just backed that um, big bramble fox globe there to the right and sometimes I leave them unbacked but as you can see it's quite effective if you do back them with a little bit of paper it just helps elevate them off the page a bit more and um, can give the perspective a completely different feel and I really liked how that looked so I have then backed the other two globes that I've put onto my layout with the same dark blue paper a bit later on and I also wanted to frame my photograph just so it didn't get lost on that white background that I've used there. So to help ground the photograph and my big embellishment clusters on my layout I decided that I would add a little bit of inking to my white cardstock background. Now I've just used plain Brazil white cardstock here. I've not applied any gesso or anything because I'm not adding lots and lots of water to my layout and I'm simply just using um, like a makeup brush to apply my distress oxide inks onto my layout now I really really love the makeup brush head heads I know some people don't but you can get them on all different sizes so you can actually be more precise with them but for a big background like this I think they're brilliant and they just apply the ink really evenly on your surface I, I find sometimes with the ink application pads that you can put them on and have like a really really hard edge to start with and then it softens out and you end up with lines um, and it's a bit in your face whereas I find with these makeup brushes it's brilliant you can just build up your layers gradually and um, it's a lot more softer the result that you get. Now I did try some stamping as well as you can see um, up the top there with um, a flower stamp but 
I really didn't like them. I only put a couple on my layout and I decided against it in the end. So um, at the end, you won't even notice those. <laughs> they get covered up along the way. Um, it just wasn't working for me. So we all do things like this, but there's always a way to cover everything up, um, which is definitely what I've done because as soon as I stamped them, I was like, oh no, I don't like that. <laughs> um, so yes, covering those up. So I'm happy with how everything's looking now. I've stuck those big florals down with um, a glue dot just so that I can then still puff up the petals of the flowers to help create that dimension and texture to my layout. But the rest of it I'm sticking down with my Cosmic Shimmer glue. And it's simply now just a case of a little bit of faffing here and there and a few finishing touches. So I do add some thread twirls or what I call thread nests um, tucked behind my embellishment clusters here or there with those purple threads that you can see on the side. I'm adding my title on which I felt re went really nicely with um, the time of the year as everything starts to bloom, all the flowers come out and the fact that we'd gone and seen those beautiful crocuses down at the park and some journaling around the other side of my photograph there. That's what I really like about adding circular elements onto my layouts because when I use them I do actually then try and follow the curves of those circles to put my journaling. It's journaling something I always think of as a last minute thing which I really really shouldn't um, but they, it always to me looks more appealing and better on the eye and just sort of tends to fit in with my layouts a lot better when I do it like this rather than straight lines. So a few little um, splatters of shimmers paints finish my layout off nicely and a little bit of watered down distress oxide ink as well just around some of the bits in those embellishment clusters to help ground those as well and my layout's done so thank you so much for joining me today i hope you've enjoyed my video and like my layout like i said it's something quite different for me but i quite like the end effect and um, please give me a thumbs up if you like it leave any comments that would be much appreciated and i'll see you again soon thanks then bye